Hey girl. Hey girl. Stupid me. I can't be a YouTuber and stay cool. No, I have to turn off my fan. But yeah, so new custom. I made Burnt Foxy. So um honestly really surprised that you guys even voted for him. Especially considering how like obscure of a character he is. But you guys voted for him for some reason. But hey, he's here now. And um not really a custom that I really wanted to make that bad, but I wouldn't mind making him, obviously, because I put him on the pole, but, um, basically for this guy, um, he, I basically just use him as practice for paint jobs, um, I use some cool techniques here, here we got, um, him next to the original Foxy and the re-release Foxy, just for some comparison, this is what he used to look like, this is what he looks like now, so yeah, um, let's just look, take a closer look at him. Um, the fuses were definitely the hardest part. Um, they kept smushing and stuff, and no matter how square I tried to make them, like, I've, I've tried, I tried literally everything I could possibly think of in order to make them more square, but nothing was working, um, and they just kept puffing back out, um, even if I didn't even touch them. So, yeah, very strange. So, the fuses don't look that great, honestly, but... He yeah, added little colored pieces to them. You can tell what they are if you played the mini game. So I think I, I think that's good enough. Uh, here we got his face. It's got this big hole for an eyeball. Um, I later in the video, I'll sh you'll be actually be able to see what's under the Foxy action figure's eye patch. So stay tuned for that. He um here we this is not what's under the eye patch by the way. Um, I I definitely edited it, but. You could, but I added a bunch of orange, and then I splotched it out. Like, um, there's just orange splotches everywhere. Um, and then there's, like, I did it so he looks a little more like, um, in the minigame. That's real. it's a very complicated paint job, but I think I did a decent job. Basically, what I did was I painted his whole face orange, and then I patted it down. Um, his whole face except for his, except for his, um, his teeth and his mouth and stuff, because that needed to be painted later. But I covered his whole face in orange, then I, then I patted it all off with a paper towel and just left a little bit. And ended up giving off this effect. Oh. I didn't notice that. Probably do a revision video in the next video anyway. Um, I'll do some updates to this guy, like I did with the Phantom Freddy custom in the Phantom Chica video. But, yeah, here's Burnt Foxy. So you can see his legs um, have a very l slight layer of black on them, so they look burnt. Uh, I did that, and then um, they also have this cool texture to them too. Um, then he's got this, um, I had to repaint all of the holes in his arms and stuff. I had to put the paint back into them. Um, the chest one was pretty difficult, but I think I did a pretty decent job painting it back in. He's got so he's got this big crack on his chest. Uh, he's got one on his back too, and then he's got one on his face, um, one on that that side, one on his ear, one on up there. That one kind of has red bleeding through. Like I said, I'm probably gonna revise this one a little bit in my next custom video. But yeah, here's Burnt Foxy for now. Uh, FNAF VR needs a lot more representation in merchandise, so. I'm kind of glad I made this, but at the same time, I'm disappointed in you guys. You could have picked someone cooler, but whatever. Still, pretty nice looking custom, I think. Uh, I think he looks pretty cool. Um, nice, obscure character. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. This isn't a very interesting custom. Um, most of this video will definitely be just the, the part where it's showing me making it. So, let's move on to that. Hope you guys enjoyed the custom, and stay tuned for the end so you can participate in the poll on which custom I'll make next, which is going to be a much more interesting and complicated one, so stay tuned. Uh, or you could just check my community tab and vote, so yeah. Alright guys, so um, Burnt Foxy. I was not expecting you guys to vote for this guy at all, but you did, so... Now I will deliver. I will make this guy. So, got a brand new Foxy right here. Got re-release Foxy here. Got spring guys. Um, this is definitely the worst spring trap I've gotten. Um, little spoiler. I will be making a spring trap custom once I build a third one. Uh, but yeah. Uh, 
This is definitely the worst spring trap out of the three. Um, I'll have to take this guy out of the box to decide if he's better than this foxy, but yeah, I guess we'll just start the custom. It's not very effective. Wait a minute. He's got dirt on his nose. In the box. That's not a good sign. I can't figure out a cool way to open this. I'm just going to open it. Ugh. Fresh plastic. It's an amazing smell. Whoa. Okay. Spring trap action figure. I've ha I have a complete re-release spring trap, and I have a complete, like, final spring- old spring trap, and seriously, though, let me- Bro, I can actually move his arm without it falling off. This is so cool. I didn't even know that was possible. But I, I found a spring trap, and his arm actually moves without falling off. Guys, guys, this is revolutionary. All right, so that would be the worst foxy I've gotten. So this is a this is still a decent foxy. Um, not gonna lie. Um, I am a I am the a god of FNAF toys, so I I know everything. Um, as you can see, his ear he's got some red bleeding onto the metal part. Not good. His teeth are quite sloppy. Um, they are distinct though, so that's good. His nose is filthy. You. Uh, his eye has black bleeding through. His torso is disgusting. His this arm does not look good. And um, this is a um, I rate this foxy a, a six. This is not a very good foxy, but you know he's getting spray painted, so who cares? First step for the custom, we're gonna remove his eye patch since you guys really wanted that. So, um, or at least I got a few requests asking, hey. Show me what's under his eye patch. So I'm gonna rip off his eye patch right now and I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so I am officially the first person in the universe to take off Foxy's eye patch. And okay, this is very interesting. So his eye patch is right here. You can see it, it's got the little hinge and stuff, but and it attaches to his eye like this. And then on his eye, you can actually see like Okay, so on the product image for this guy, where is, where's the rest of the box? Over here. You can see on the image, his eye patch is open. So his eye patch was originally going to be open. Then when they decided to make it closed, it's actually, um, you can see, there's actually, you can see the indenting for his eyelid. So his eye is actually still there. They just put a dent in it and glued the eye patch in. So, that is very interesting. That is very interesting. Alright guys, so now for a progress update. There's little red bits all over my desk. Because I've ripped out what he had as an eye. Um, yeah, so there's nothing there right now. There's like a hole in his eye. Um, apparently the middle of his head is hollow. So, that's a little thing. But I think I'm going to grind it out a little bit more so it's a little more evened out because I don't like how the hole looks right now. And yeah, hopefully that works out. There was also some excess plastic stuck inside of his eye hole, so I just grabbed some tweezers and ripped it out. Alright, so I have hollowed out his eye completely. His nose took a little bit of scuffing, but he's going to get spray painted over, so who cares? So yeah, his eye is now completely hollowed out. Um, I'm going to add some epoxy in there so it's more even. But yeah, his head is actually completely hollow in there. So that's a neat little fact about Funko figures. I always thought their heads were solid. All right, so I have added a fuse to him. Um, I know the mold is very simple, but I'm just kind of going to color it over with some gold. And then I'm going to add the colors to it. And hopefully it'll look fine. Um, I think it will. I, I can't make it too complicated since it's so small, but I'm doing my best. Then with his eyeball, um, I've added some epoxy inside of there to clean it up. And this should look pretty good once he's actually spray painted. So let me just add some more fuses to him, then I'll be right back.
All right, so I have added more fuses onto him, and I've also kind of cleaned up the inside of his eye. Uh, but yeah, I've added some more fuses. Um, pretty happy with how these turned out. They're very small, so they're hard. To, they're very hard to do, but I kind of simplified them. Just three little dots for different colors, so I can color them in, and that's about it. Nothing too interesting on the fuses, but. Yeah, he looks pretty neat right now, I think. And I think he's going to look really cool once he's painted. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, I got the spray paint. I got the Foxy all laid out in pieces. His, his epoxy's all dried. So, now all I got to do is spray him. So... Brown. I'm not very good at spray painting. Need to do a second layer, definitely. These things like to fly around. Do I need to do his bottom legs? Probably not, actually. I could probably leave those, but. All right, let me move these out of the way. I don't know, I think I'm just going to go more in depth on making these in the videos. I feel like that'd be cool. So, yeah. This is basically how I do it. Oh! God. I sprayed that in the wrong direction. Shoot. Hope that didn't get on anything important. I think I just missed it into the air. So then my room is intoxicated, that's fun. Alright, so... I've made his, I've, I kind of took a little break from recording and I just kind of worked on him. So basically what I did was I took some orange paint and I put it over the brown. And then I patted it down and got rid of most of it and left a little bit behind. And I think that strategy turned out pretty well. Um, Kind of gives it that right look. He's got his orange eye. Um, That was really hard to paint. Way harder than I expected. His teeth are painted. Um, Not the neatest, but... A teeth are the hardest thing to paint, so I think I did a pretty decent job. Uh, there's his hand. Um, I repaint. Um, I actually had to paint it silver again, but it's brown and then black and then silver under there. So then I did the did his feet and I added a little silver hue to the black that I painted them, and I think that looks pretty good. And then I did the same orange thing with the torso and I made it a little patchy and stuff. Might add a little bit more. There's some cracks I kind of engraved onto him. So, yeah. Just kind of taking it slow with this one. Uh, so, I basically forgot to record anything else. So, I guess we're straight to the review part. Even though that was at the beginning of the video. So, I guess there's just nothing else in this video. Here's the poll. You could you can go vote on that. That'd be pretty cool. All right. All right. Goodbye.